Hello, Mass Gang. Wow, that sun is bright. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so today I am going on another little adventure. Hubby is bringing his work. Oh, Hubby is bringing his bay, me, bay, <laughs> to work with him. So he's actually going to be doing a hiring event. Um, it is in Fort Lauderdale, so it's not very far off, but we are flying there because, of course, it is all courtesy of the job. So no expenditure here, so why not, right? Um, BJ is gone to go and do his hair and all of that because he does start school later this week. And I'm just tagging along for the ride. Get a free little trip out of it. Why not, right? But we're all packed now. And we are about to go. it to the airport for those of you who are new here because we do realize that we have had a little uptick of people who have just joined our community here brian is a flight attendant so when we are going on our trips he normally drops me off by departures and then he goes to park by the staff parking lot and he has a shop that brings him around i also have to go through tsa he does not and if anybody knows Orlando Airport, they know that TSA at Orlando's airport is crazy, especially in the evenings. So it is currently around 5.30. Um, boarding isn't until 7.40. So even though it is a domestic flight, we always make sure to reach extremely early, which we are. Um, as I said, it's a quick trip to Fort Lauderdale, but I'm gonna head through TSA and then we're gonna meet Brian on the other side by the gate. I was telling you about them TSA lines. Look at that. TSA actually wasn't too bad today. It only took me maybe 25 minutes to get through. So I'm by the gate waiting for Brian. He should be here in a few minutes because he has gotten through as well. He just stopped to get some coffee because um, he already was working today. A very long day, so he's tired. Yeah, but once you get there, it's just a waiting game just to make sure that we actually get on because those of you who are familiar with us know that more times than not because we are traveling by his benefits we do wait on the standby list but it i don't think it, they have a full load so it should be easy enough and at the end of the day this is actually work for him so he has to get on <laughs> yeah so waiting for him and then you get your high from him what's going on man's game so I am on my way to the gate. Actually, I just made it to the other gate, but I went to the whole other side of the, t the airport. I was on the wrong terminal because I'm used to going to Spirit Side. And yeah, so needless to say, I'm out of breath. I'm a little embarrassed about it, but I made it. I'm on gate 85 when normally our gates are one through like 20, but I'm here. Um, I don't know if Alec told you, but I'm a part of like the recruiting team for Spirit. So I am going to be doing a hiring event. I did one last year. I loved it and I'm excited to do this one. Hopefully I'm able to bring in some good talent and um, have some new good flight attendant coworkers. But yeah, it'll be a short trip beginning tonight. I have the hotel until two days from now. So I'm trying to see if we're gonna stay or if we're leaving tomorrow night. But either way, I don't know if it's too loud in here, so I'm gonna keep it short. So I'll see you guys when we make it to Fort Lauderdale. Just jumping back on to let you guys know we made it on. There he is. Fort Lauderdale, what a 
traffic here is a mess. Jeez. So we made it to the elevator, but why are there like seats in the elevator? <laughs> So it's lights here. We just made it into the room. Um, can I tell you, going through or waiting on a ride share at that was what the Fort Lauderdale airport that we we're at just now? Yeah. Ridiculous. Waited for what felt like probably 15 minutes the first time, only for them to cancel a minute away. And then how long did we wait the second time? About 10 minutes. Another 10, 15 minutes. Um, it was already a long day because we had a delay coming out of MCO because of weather. Uh, but yeah, we are finally here. <laughs> it, it, it's hot in the lobby. Hot. So you know this one, Vex. Vex. <laughs> so I'm going to do my little room tour as per usual. Yeah, so cue room tour now. Good evening, Iceland. <laughs> Didn't know that Brian changed his name. Is, is that your drag name? <laughs> All right, man, it's gang. So I'm hiding in the bathroom. We're about to start the interviews. I had to wake up at like 6.50 to start. I had my breakfast. Um, I don't think I can show you guys like the setup or anything like that because I don't want to get in any kind of trouble. But yeah, this is going to be a long day, but it's going to be an exciting one. Um, they're already starting to line up. So I'm excited to see my potential new coworkers. But if I can um, show you guys, I will. Good morning, Maz gang. So it is Brian's D-Day. So he is already downstairs at this hiring event. Um, yeah, it's like a, a day vacation for me in the middle of the week. So I'm still here in the room. I'm about to do some work. Uh, so you can probably see my little setup over there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be in the room for a couple hours, probably walk around in a little bit to try and see if I can find something to eat. At least that would probably be smart to do before I get too settled. Um, but yeah, so this is how it works for me is that especially when it is that he has to work, I just sit, watch him in action, try and keep myself busy, of course, because don't want to get lazy, right? Um, more than likely I'll be responding to like a lot of comments during this time. Um, and yeah, he's going to pop up in and out to check on me in a little bit. So I'm sure you'll see him in a little bit. <laughs> just giving y'all a little panoramic view from our room a lot of parking lot but i like the fact that you can see the cityscape hold on let me focus there there we go yeah, it's pretty in the night so look who decided to check on me that would be me <laughs> you coming over here <laughs> yeah. yeah so how has your day been going so far it's actually been really good. Um, a lot of yeses, a couple noes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. I'm having a good time. I mean, this is not my first one, but they're fun. And I got a new tag. You see? Okay. Yeah. Recruitment. Recruitment ambassador. Mm-hmm. We have to flip that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm having a good time. Well, that's good. 
Um, yeah, I've been getting some solid work done. So that's good. That's all I've been doing here. Um, I'll probably go and try and find something to eat in a little bit. I feel like it's so easy to get lost in work mm -hmm. when it is that you're, you know, like actually concentrating. So I definitely didn't want to lose that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I know that you have to go back very soon. Yeah, I can't stay. Yeah. Although I know you want me to, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to it. See, this is why I must have good money, you know. Brian just ran back. I don't know what magic he worked, but he got me some lunch. Oh, it looks good too. So since I don't have to find lunch anymore, um, once I'm done here, then I'm probably still gonna take a break and walk around and take a look at the hotel and see what it is that they have to offer downstairs. So I've finally gotten my ass up and about to leave this room. So let's go check things out. So the gym and the pool are pretty much in the same area. So I actually came prepared for both. I didn't know that they were in the same area, but it makes it so much easier for me. So I'm gonna get a quick cardio workout in, and then I'm gonna cool off in the pool. So I just made it to the gym. Hello, Mads gang. So my day is officially done. As you can see, my husband is out having a good time. Um, I'm not a mad at it though. He's been in this hotel room all day. Um, the weather looks pretty bad. Yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna make it out tonight. I mean, Alec wants to leave, I don't, but I think it makes sense for us to leave. Like he's, he makes good sense. Um, to leave. I actually really want to like, go have a good time on the town, you know? Oh well, there's always Fort Lauderdale. We can always come back. Um, yeah, I was going to go look for him. Um, he's probably at the gym or at the pool, but I had an early day today, so I am going to lay down, kick my feet up, and watch some TV before it is that we leave tonight. Excuse me. So, yeah. I guess we'll reconvene when he gets back. Just finished my workout, but look at these huge ass lizards. Oh my God. The hell? So I just finished in the gym. Um, I just took a quick change off into my trunks. I'm gonna take a short swim and then head back up because Brian is finished for the day. I think we are gonna try to leave out tonight. It's, pro it's now five. The flight wouldn't be until 10, so we do have a couple hours in between. Um, but again, we don't want to be late. We don't want to miss the flight, especially because the flight load apparently is full. And again, I'm traveling on standby. He's a confirmed seat because this is work, but um, we don't want to take any chances. So I need to be the first one on the standby list there. Yeah, so let me go, take a shower, buy their shower outside, and then take a dip. So it is a beautiful pool area in case you're wondering. Oh, shit, I thought that was a lizard. <laughs> in case you're wondering why 
like some of the umbrellas or the place might look a little bit torn up is because I don't know what just happened a while ago but a huge gust of wind because um, it looks like it's about to rain um, as you can probably see there a huge gust of wind just blew over half the umbrellas that were open here um, <laughs> and I'm seeing a whole lot more of those little lizards run about so I thought that's what just tried to attack me but it was just a green leaf <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna go get this dip real quick so I can head out Alright guys, so as you may notice, we are at the airport. A whole lot happened in a very short period of time. <laughs> so when it is that I was by the pool, I got a call from Brian because he said that there was an earlier flight out mm -hmm. um, to be leaving at 7.45 mm -hmm. on Southwest. The morning, the Southwest we'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> yeah, so we were originally supposed to be leaving at 10.30, which I think I had told you before. And he found a flight that had a hundred and something open seats. Hundred and twenty four open seats. Yeah, so we're not gonna give that up for so an oversold flight yeah, so that late in the home, night. And it's storming outside. So mm -hmm. the flight that we were originally supposed to get on, one, we probably wouldn't have made it. And two, it probably would have been delayed. Mm -hmm. So in typical flight attendant fashion, I booked us, come, um, checked us in, and we made it to the airport. Yeah, we just had to pack our things and just Edit. move. Because yeah. we left the hotel maybe 6.30. Six, six, no, no, no. no, yeah. Like 6 o'clock, because we got here at 6.33. Yeah, so we got here at 6.33, went through TSA, and been by the gate from like 6.50. Mm -hmm. They're about, yeah. So we made it in time for our 7.15 boarding. Mm -hmm. and we're about to board now, so we are going home. What's going on, man's game? Come on, because I'm so tired. I am tired. <laughs> you are too. Yeah, I am. But, yeah, clearly we had made it back. But we just wanted to let you guys know what happened because I feel like things got really chaotic really quickly. Mm -hmm. So, outside of trying to leave to catch the earlier flight, um, I mean, we got ready really quickly. Packed everything, heading downstairs, jumped in the elevator. There was already one person in the elevator. Doors closed. And then it was heading down to the lobby. And then it dropped. Dropped two floors. We went from floor four to floor two. And then the doors wouldn't open. The lights went out. And then it went back up. To seven. <laughs> yeah. It went all the way to seven. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm remaining calm. And apparently I was freaking out. Was yeah, like, because, like, was... Brian was there tapping on the buttons and everything. He yeah, was just trying to hold his shit together. I was, because that, that's one of my biggest fears, to get stuck in an elevator. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, a, like, it's terrifying to me. And that has always been? Always. At, like, from a little boy, because I got stuck in an elevator in my old um, apartment complex called Cinnamon Square. And I was with my brother, and he was ten, obviously ten years older than me, and he tormented me in that process. So it kind of just like 
brings it back it for you every time back. that you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, when we when the doors opened on seven, like Brian said no words, he just came straight out, and we had to stairs it down. Um, the stairs cut off, I think, at floor three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the set of stairs that we were at, and I saw where he like walked out, and there's a balcony overlooking the lobby. And he's standing there and he's like looking left, looking right. And then I see him looking down and I'm like, is this man thinking <laughs> thinking to jump? Mm-hmm. I wasn't going back on the elevator. <laughs> so however I had to get down, I was, I was about to get down. Yeah, he legit looked like he was contemplating jumping, like throwing the bags over the balcony. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Brian, there must be another set of stairs on the other side. So we eventually walked there and we got downstairs. And, I mean, we really didn't have much time to spare in terms of being able to get to the airport. Yeah, but needless to say, it was an an eventful way to cap off or stay there. Because these last two times that we've stayed at hotels in South Florida, there's been an issue with the AC. I don't know if because the place is as hot as it is, that everybody's AC is running too hard. And breaking down? Could be. But this is why I don't work trips. This is That is exactly one of the reasons why I don't work trips. Because, like, you, you run into situations where... You have no control. You have no control over certain things. Like, the AC don't work or the hotel don't have hot water. Like, a lot of, a lot of people think that flight attendant life is, like, glamorous and it's amazing where you work these trips. But it's hard, man. Like, imagine coming home or you you're supposed to be off at 8 p.m you don't get off until 11 p.m and you have a show time that's that's at like six in the morning but your room is next to somebody who has a kid who won't shut up who's screaming and crying mm-hmm. or uh teenagers who just want to party and have the, the music blaring and then you don't have hot water to take a shower and then the ac don't work so it's like it's it's a lot that comes into being a flight attendant that's not glamorous. But apply. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is what you can expect for those that he saw mm-hmm. today. Um or will see in the future. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean it is it still has a lot of perks. So we a encourage lot. you. We encourage you to join the family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to but <laughs> No, he's not. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we've kept you long enough. <laughs> so, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to be a flight attendant and you want Brian to see you <laughs> the next time, comment below. Uh, please share the video if you haven't already. And if you, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? Yeah, subscribe, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.